In this video, I'm going to share with you a really, really good base defense. It's going to basically force the offense to have to work up and down the field and really allow your defense a lot of flexibility in terms of who you want to guard and how you want to use her across the formation. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and to click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the YouTube channel. Now this is a defensive scheme that I've actually been kind of thinking about running for a while and I just kind of jumped into it. I actually just put um, a first installment in it in the Patreon membership. So if you want to get access to that, I'm going to link the Patreon in the description of the video. You could join the Patreon uh, for just $10 a month. And the cool part about joining that is you get access to all uh, 18 of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive eBooks. In addition to that, you're also going to be able to get access um, to any kind of exclusive updates or any new ebooks that we release while your membership is active. So if you want to check that out, um, I'm going to again put a link to that in the description and you can sign up if you want to. So let's take a look here. This is out of the nickel 335 normal in the 46 playbook. And what we're going to do in our packages, if you take a look here, uh, I'm going to turn that package into the safety nickelback package. And then once I do that, um, I'm just going to go through and, you know, kind of put you know, whoever I want, wherever, uh, just kind of manually subbing them in. I like to put, you know, safeties at linebacker, of course. Uh, we could leave Levante David in with the Bucks, but I would just rather have all safeties on the field, and then we'll put our good pass rushers in the game. And that's pretty much it. Now, what we want to do with our coaching adjustments is we want to turn auto flip. Um, you can leave this on or you can let, turn it off. It's up to you. Um, but we're going to go base line. We're going to go ball and air defense to play ball. Option defense on conservative. And then this is really important. Our zone drops are going to be flats on 30, curl flats on 10, and hook curls on 5. Uh, and what you're going to notice is this is a really, really, really good way to play uh, defense in this game. So I'm just going to come out in vertical. It's one of the better plays in Madden. And uh, show you kind of how you can base out of this coverage. So we're going to base out of the play Tampa 2. And really what we're going to do here is we're going to actually use her. We're going to use her this guy. So I'm just going to go ahead and pinch my defense. We're going to use her this nickel corner right over the center. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to outside third, both of our uh, safeties, because we can do that with those adjustments. We're then going to put this middle guy in the deep third, as you can see. And then you have kind of a choice uh, of what you want to do on the back sides of this. If you want the vert hooks, you can leave the vert hooks. You can also... Um, go ahead and put curl flats there and the reason why is and I'll show you real quick here You're going to notice that these curl flats because they're coming from such an inside depth They're actually going to put themselves in a pretty decent position um, To guard the wheel routes on the formation. So you're going to see here these wheels They kind of play them in a really unique way And I'll show you the replay here to kind of walk you through what's going on now The cool part about this coverage is it's very easy to adapt it So if you want to use vertical hooks, you can use them or if you want to use um, curl flats, you could use them as well. So if we go into instant replay here, what you're going to notice is, if I back this out, you're going to see here, so first and foremost, the outside thirds. So this route right here from verticals is typically a cover two beater, but because we have an outside third, it's really not in a position where it can get over the top of the defense. This route is also one of the best routes of the formation, but because we have this outside third and our user, or inside third and our user right in the middle of the field flowing to this, this is not an easy throw. And then as you can see here, if they try to throw it over here, it's not going to get open. Another cover two beater is this fade. And as you can see here, the outside third does a good job of guarding it. And then the wheel route to the tight end, if you look at this purple here, it's not super wide open. We would probably take our lurk over there and kind of help with that a little bit. We can obviously do some other stuff to defend that. But uh, as you can see, it's really not that open. And then if you take a look here, same kind of basic thing. That's a tough throw. Um, yes, you could maybe make the throw, but it is a tough throw. So let's say that they are running verticals on you like nonstop. What you can do is um, you can go to your Tampa 2, and instead of putting them in curl flats, you can go ahead and spread your linebackers just like this, and you can leave them in vertical hooks. Okay, so this is just kind of an adjustment to an adjustment. And what you're going to see in this defense is if they try to throw these wheels, it's a little bit tougher of a throw. And they can make that throw right there, which I'll come back to that in a second. That's where we could re-put our vertical hooks on default if they're going to make that throw a lot. And then another thing that I wanted to really just hit on real quickly here with you guys 
is a cross manning system. So what we can do is we can actually all three of these stack linebackers, we can cross man them on different players. So I'm going to man up the uh, running back side linebacker on the tight end. I'm going to man up the tight end side running back or linebacker on the running backs. You see we cross man the two middle guys. And then basically, you know, this is again a kind of a situational call. But if they're just going to call verticals, this is a really, really good play. So you see these cross man assignments do a really good job. And then you see obviously the, the deep crosser is defended. So this is just one of my favorite coverage defenses for this. Um, it's also really, really good against certain situations like um, let's say for example they want to try to throw a flood at you and again it is a little bit of a chess match in terms of adjustment but you're able to this right side typically we'll do a really good job of that and then if you wanted to you could also do something like this so you could cross man that guy on the tight end so you see there we got the tight end cross man for the wheel and then now what that allows us to do on the back side here is we can kind of just use her over here on the left side um, and if they try to go to flood, now you've got a really good chance at defending that, as you can see. They're going to have to make a great catch. You're going to have to make a great play uh, to be able to keep their drive alive. So this is just a great little defense. And the cool part about it is it really can kind of apply to anything that you're defending. Um, I really do like the fact that we have uh, these vertical hooks and the fact that we have an inside third here. That's why I like to use her this slot. I also like to use her this slot because he's already on a blitz and because... Um, it just creates a really unique look. So like let's say they try to let's say they try to run the ball on you. You don't have to audible. You don't have to flip anything. Everything's exactly the same. And if they try to run the ball, you're just gonna run right down the middle. And what you'll see is it's kind of a contained run D. Um, it's just gonna keep everything in front of you. Really simple, um, but really, really effective. I'll show you it out a bunch as well. So if they try to run the ball, again, you're just gonna be down in here. And what you'll see against the run. Again, you're just coming forward, and you see how you can just kind of kind of hang with it. Um, typically, runs are difficult against this defense just because of just because of the alignment of it, especially in the inside zone. So, like if they try to run, let me see if I can find a good inside zone here. Trey Y flex, yeah, that's a good one. So, if I try to run inside zone, what you should see here is this guy here, just right back here, and you see how I can just shoot the inside zone. So it's real simple to stop the inside zone. And base is really not that much more difficult. But you have so, so much compression there. Um, you're going to be able to hang with that. And like I said, you want to kind of mix and mix it up based on tendencies. But I will tell you that the gen as a general rule, the Mabel coverage is really, really good. So if you just go you know, outside third, outside third, inside third, and then you go Mabel coverage... Uh, where you just purple here, purple here, and three right here, that's gonna guard the running back. Now all you really gotta worry about is the tight end on a wheel. And so if they run something like this, you're gonna see here, you get great coverage. And this is a great defense for Z spot. As you can see, those 30 yard clouds just cover everything. And you really like it because they're base aligned and it creates really a, a lot of disguise to your defense. So this is just one of my favorite coverages right now. We did a whole thing on this in our Patreon. I actually did a full film room where we're showing how good this defense can work in game so if you want to check that out there's a link to the patreon membership in the description just a quick reminder if you want to join the patreon um, it's going to get you access to all of my madden 22 offensive and defensive guides which we have i think 19 in the uh, membership it's also going to get you access to any uh, new material or new updates to those guys uh, or new ebooks in general whenever we release them so if you want to sign up for that there's a link in the description below and you can sign up for just ten dollars a month